In a recent video I made about how Boeing announced they won't be making any new aircraft until at least 2035, one quote from Boeing CEO Dave Calhoun caught my attention. He said the only way Boeing would even begin to consider building a new plane would be unless, quote, such a plane would be 20 to 30 percent more efficient and start to lay the groundwork for future autonomous or machine-driven flight. And it was that word autonomous that stuck out to me. Why autonomous, I thought. And that word should stick out to you as well. Because the literal definition of autonomous means denoting or performed by a device capable of operating without direct human control. And there it was. Without human control. And at the time, I thought Calhoun was just musing about the future, but that's not the case at all. Because a recent report by Bloomberg said that airlines and regulators globally are pushing to have just one pilot in the cockpit of passenger jets instead of two. It would lower costs and ease pressure from crew shortages. But placing such responsibility on a single person at the controls is unsettling for some. Still, over 40 countries, including Germany, the UK, and New Zealand, have asked the United Nations body that sets aviation standards to help make single pilot flights a safe reality. So far, there's no word that the US is on board with this plan, but Boeing's Calhoun hinted that they are. The European Union Aviation Safety Agency, or EASA, has also been working with plane makers to determine how solo flights would operate and preparing rules to oversee them. EASA said such services would start in 2027, but this plan doesn't sit well with pilots. And it's going to be a hard sell for passengers, too. Well, that may be the understatement of the century. Autonomous airlines are coming in the future whether you like it or not. And we're going to talk about it next on Maximus. Greetings everybody, Maximus here. Well, if you're like me, and I think you are, you probably think the idea of pilotless airliners is the most ridiculous idea since new Coke came out in 1985. And that only lasted about a year before the public outcry and plummeting stock of Coca-Cola forced Coke to go back to the original formula. So let's hope that the same result will come from this insane idea of pilotless cockpits. But for now, the world's airline regulators and manufacturers are pushing hard for autonomous aircraft, and they are well aware that the public isn't excited about the idea at all. Yet they don't seem to care. And we need to look no further than this year when with three pilots in the cockpit, the evidence seems to prove that one pilot out of those three on a China Eastern Airlines 737 was able to take control of that aircraft and bring it down himself simply because he was depressed. And still, airlines including China Eastern Airlines are also asking regulators to ease restrictions to allow for single pilot and eventually autonomous aircraft to be allowed to fly in the skies all over the world. Tony Lucas, an A330 captain for Qantas and president of the Australian and International Pilots Association, is concerned that a lone pilot might be overwhelmed by an emergency before anyone else has time to reach the cockpit to help. He said the people going down this route aren't the people who fly jets every day. When things go awry, they go awry fairly quickly. That's what happened aboard Air France Flight 447 on its way to Paris from Rio de Janeiro on June 1, 2009. With the plane cruising at 35,000 feet above the Atlantic Ocean and the captain resting in the cabin, the two co-pilots in the cockpit started receiving faulty speed readings, likely from frozen pitot tubes outside the aircraft. By the time the captain got to the cockpit, 90 seconds later, the plane was in an aerodynamic stall from which it never recovered. Less than three minutes later, it hit the water, killing all 228 people on board. Lucas, a check and training captain, also worries about the lost opportunities to mentor junior pilots if single flight crews are working on their own. And Lucas is absolutely right. There are just too many scenarios where two pilots are critical to the safe operation of a large commercial jet, especially in crowded airspaces and ever-changing weather. Janet Northcote, EASA's head of communications, wrote in an email that we are potentially removing the last piece of human redundancy from the flight deck. One condition for single pilot operation is that it is at least safe as with two people at the controls. 
Boeing Southeast Asia President Alexander Feldman said, The technology is there for single pilots, but it's really about where the regulators and the general public feel comfortable. Proponents say that a first step would be to allow solo piloting when aircraft are cruising, typically a less busy period than takeoff and landing. He said that would allow the other pilot to rest in the cabin rather than staying in the cockpit to help fly the plane. By alternating breaks in this manner, a two-person crew could fly longer routes without the help and expense of an extra pilot. However, allow me to counter with a personal observation. German wings. There was only one pilot on deck when that crash happened. Problem is that one pilot happened to be suicidal and took everyone on board with him to the afterlife. However, many airlines and world regulators say that flying could be fully automated with minimal oversight from a pilot in the cockpit. The system could detect if the pilot for whatever reason became incapacitated and then land the plane by itself at a pre-selected airport. But according to EASA, such flights aren't likely until well after 2030. But the value of having two pilots up front was famously borne out on January 15, 2009 when a U.S. Airways plane struck a flock of geese shortly after takeoff from New York and lost power in both engines. The captain, Chesley Sullenberger, and the first officer, Jeffrey Skiles, together managed to land the Airbus A320 on the Hudson River. No one died. The incident, of course, became known as the Miracle on the Hudson. But the International Federation of Airline Pilots Associations told ICAO in a paper for its assembly last month that nothing to date has proved safer than a second rested qualified well-trained pilot physically present on the flight deck. Joe Leader, chief executive officer of Apex, a New York-based aviation association that focuses on passengers' experiences, said, Commercial airline passengers absolutely expect and deserve two pilots in the cockpit. And the UK Civil Aviation Authority said transitioning to single pilot operations could impact areas such as crew training and medical requirements, as well as mental health and job satisfaction. The impact of flying alone even just for a while requires a detailed assessment. Still, the International Coordinating Council of Aerospace Industry Associations, which represents plane makers worldwide, is urging the ICAO to devise a roadmap for flights with one pilot at the controls during non-critical periods. But Airbus said in an email it's assessing how its planes might be flown by smaller crews. For now, Airbus is collaborating with airlines and regulators to see if two pilots could safely replace three-person crews on long-haul flights. Carriers who are looking into single-pilot flights include China Eastern Airlines corporations, which suffered a fatal crash in March. A pilot at the Shanghai-based airline co-authored research last month that assessed how takeoff and landing tasks could be automated or completed with the help from a ground station. Yasa said it is aware of concerns about solo flying and that addressing them is part of the process. Northcote said these concepts will not be implemented until the aviation community is comfortable that operations will be at least as safe as they are today. And finally, there's this. All you have to do is Google pilots who have died of natural causes in midair during commercial passenger flights, and you will find quite a few over the years. And the reason those flights have never ended in tragedy is because there was another qualified pilot on deck who was capable of landing the aircraft without any of the passengers on the aircraft being the wiser. However, that wouldn't be the case if the pilot who died in midair was the only pilot on board. But the reason global regulators and airline CEOs are pushing for this idiotic idea of a single pilot or worse, autonomous aircraft is because they all fly private on Gulf streams with two of their own personal pilots, so they never need to worry about such a scenario befalling them. So will this ever become a reality? I hope not, but I'm afraid eventually in the decades to come it will happen regardless of what the flying public thinks. And you want to know what the scariest part is, eventually the future public will actually get used to the idea and just accept it. But I'll tell you one old dog who won't. That's me. So in the future, when planes are flying without pilots, look for me out there on the highway. I'll be the old man sitting low in the seat of my sedan with my knuckles above the rim, 
with my left turn blinker constantly on. Well, that's what I think. How about you? Will you fly on a commercial flight with only one pilot or no pilots? Let me know down below. Well, that's going to do it for now. And as always, please be sure to subscribe, like, share, and ring the bell. And remember, leave the rubber on the runway and your troubles on the ground. And I will see you next time in the air. Yeah, this is Maximus. <laughs>